Hello everybody. Uh, hello to all my friends and family and anybody else who's watching this that didn't have something better to do. Uh, my name's Chris and I'm making this video from Wrocław, Poland. I, uh, well, with my best friend, uh, we've decided to uh, start importing antiques from Poland, mostly industrial and decorative antiques. And we just returned from our uh, our first trip, which was more about just getting our legs under us. Uh, the eventual goal was to be able to get into places like factories and uh, Cold War era industrial places where we can get stools and benches and tables and decorative antiques. Um, but as we're just starting out, uh, we wanted to see what it was like to get out on the road, um, kind of get a feel for the distances, what's worth doing, what's not worth doing as far as travel goes. And uh, so we did our first weekend trip. It was a two-day trip. I'm going to show a few clips here. And I wanted to just take a moment and kind of go over some of the things that we picked up. We had some really cool stuff and a couple things that were not quite what we thought they were, which is kind of one of the dangers of buying stuff online. But um, as we get going, hopefully we'll get better and better at that and we'll get access to more places where we can just buy stuff on the spot instead of uh, doing the internet kind of thing. So um, I'm gonna show you just a few clips from our trip and uh, then we'll get into the things that uh, we brought home so hope you enjoy it um, my goal is to uh, make this into a regular channel and have regular videos so if this kind of thing interests you uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button and it'll let you know whenever i load something new so um, hope you like it and this is my best friend pete Say hi, Pete. Hi. So we're kind of excited right now because we're at the threshold of <clears throat> something we've been looking forward to for quite some time. All right, so we're on the road and uh, this trip is less about actually hunting and digging through old places and more about just getting out, getting our legs under us, uh, learning about you know, what it's going to be like to be traveling around and picking stuff up. Uh, we, we bought a few things from what you could call the uh, Polish version of Craigslist. So every country has its online marketplaces like eBay or Craigslist. And, uh, you know, we, don't, we haven't had enough time under our belts to, like, actually get some opportunities to dig in any factories yet. So uh, we found some online stuff and we're traveling to, to pick them up. And I have to say, we're probably traveling a little further than we should, but the stuff we picked out I thought was pretty neat. And uh, so we're gonna take you along with us and uh, we'll show you what we get as we pick it up. I don't know how it's gonna be with filming, how people are gonna feel about filming. So we may, until we get used to, you know, asking people and getting their permission to shoot as we pick stuff up, we may just show you kind of what we get the van uh, when we're loading it up and if I'm able if I feel kind of comfortable about it I think they'd be open to us filming when we actually arrive because uh, there's a chance maybe they have other stuff for us to look at uh, we'll see but uh, either way uh, we'll take some time and show you what we're getting So we're at a rest stop, and uh, it's been about six hours on the road, uh, and we're ready to pick up our first item. So as we kind of loop around, it won't be that far between the items that we're picking up, so we'll start picking up more frequently uh, as we make our way back to Bratislava. So uh, in a few minutes, we'll have something cool to show you. I don't know what he's doing. Something cool. Something 
Disco. Okay, so we've come to the place we think, and uh, this is in an area that's dedicated for people to have country cottages. And the lady in the pink shirt in front of us is a uh, chauffeur escorting us back to the property. But people have these little cottages that they can retire to on the weekend, where they have a little orchard, a couple uh, fruit trees, really quite quaint and pretty cool. You can get drunk here. Oh yeah, you can get drunk on the weekends here. Uh, but uh, we're here to pick up a military desk. So we'll see if it looks as good as it did in the pictures. Or it's as it's interesting, good. yeah. At least the ad said it was military. Okay, so here's our first item that we've gotten from our road trip. It's a military communications desk, and uh, it is really awesome. It's got pull-out drawers on the side, uh, and there's really cool labels, and a sidearm ho holding safe. For grenades. Yeah, or a grenade, a grenade holding <laughs> safe, but yeah, it's really cool. So, uh, and uh, it's ultra heavy wood you can see that it's made with dovetailing and uh, it's just a perfect cool unique industrial piece of furniture and then uh, one thing that I also wanted to mention was we always ask if there's we try to ask if they have anything else that we might be interested in and we got a cool military folding stool here and another military stool here uh, and just some random extra stuff that they threw in because it was laying around. So we got some cool military belts and buckles and some block and tackle and all kinds of neat stuff thrown in. I don't exactly know what this is. Let's see. It was a communications nope, 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 like that. desk. Uh, so I guess it would have been like a radio control thing. And here's some lamps and stuff so i don't know what that would be useful for but uh it's unique it's soviet and uh yeah maybe somebody will be interested in that so okay on to our next treasure okay so we were uh just driving down the road heading to our next point and it's getting late so we're gonna probably pull over and camp for the night but uh, as we were going we saw this on the side of the road some military vehicles and a German bunker so we're gonna go check them out you can look down wow that is some heavy-duty equipment I think you can climb up and get in. Hop up there, climb in, and then take the camera. enough it. space in the container for that. Huh? Yeah, we can put this in our container. Can you get up there? Oh, cool. Take the camera and show what's up there. <laughs> Trash. Uh, thickness of this steel. I don't know if you can see that. That's like as thick as my palm. Yeah, that's crazy. And personnel carrier over here. It's all gutted out, but pretty sweet. Got a gunner port there. And, uh, yeah. 
Here's a bunker. This would probably be the worst place to be in a war as a bunker because you're just a sitting duck and an obvious target. So. As it turns out, it looks like we can actually go in there. So I'm gonna. Oh, let me glide for you. Oh, yeah. Wow. So. You can stand up straight as a six foot, even six foot four person in here. But you have to duck for the doorways. Are you gonna sleep here today? Yeah. This is our camping spot. Man. Can you imagine being in here when a grenade went off? Oh, it smells like piss. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh. You okay? Yeah. Banged his head. Oh yeah, I did too. That thing's deceptive. Fuck. Ah. Yeah, you can't. So. All right. All's clear on the western front. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we've pulled over and. Uh, we're saving money on a hotel, which is something you can kind of do in Poland. Nobody really messes with you. Uh, and uh, so we found this little country lane, and we're going to pull over and sleep for the night. There's a lake out that way. So it'll be nice for a campfire, some maybe some sausages. And uh, back on the road early, first thing in the morning. Oh, yeah. Well... We actually found a different place. It's a little camping spot there. It doesn't cost anything. You can just pull in there and uh, it's really quiet and peaceful, really a beautiful place. I can get used to this kind of lifestyle. Oh, okay, we just woke up and uh, damn, that was a pretty rough night, so. If you guys are thinking about doing this, uh, you may want to give it some thought. <laughs> uh, hotel would have been nicer. I guess that's the price you pay for saving a bit of money. Uh, it's about 7 in the morning, and we're going to hit the road here in a minute. That was a lake, but it is completely covered by fog now, so you can't even see the water. He's going to the luxury bathrooms over there. And we're going to hit the road. Check that out for this apartment. Okay, so we just had to stop here because uh, the name of the town where we're going to pick up the next thing is Sitzulv, which, and this is not manufactured for humor, this is true, and Polish translates to titties. Uh, and so we were driving and I was laughing at the name of the town, and then Pete casually says, well, the next item we're picking up is in Krocza. Krochów. Krochów, which means crotch. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going from titties to crotch and uh, hoping to not come up empty handed, so... <laughs> okay, so this is our second item and uh, I hope you can hear there's a lot of traffic going by. Uh, it's a military footlocker of some kind. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's got these latch locks on it. And it would make a great liquor cabinet. Uh, it has some kind of new casters on the bottom that'll have to be replaced or removed. Um, and a British flag sticker there. So, yeah. item number two down the road. Let's go get number three. 
Okay, so uh, I wasn't gonna, we weren't gonna stop and uh, come back to this joke anymore, but as it turns out, it's not just crotch. <laughs> the name of the town is uh, Bigger Crotch. <laughs> so, all right, let's go. Krocz Vengsha means uh, Bigger Crotch <laughs> in Polish, so uh, it was titties to Bigger Crotch. No. And uh, we're here in our third location. And the guy mentioned that he might have some other stuff for us to look at too, so we're hopeful that we might find some other cool old stuff. I was just looking at the uh, cabinet that we bought back there, and as it turns out, it's not an aged vintage military cabinet. It's like a, a cabinet that is made to look like a shipping container, but it's still really industrial and cool, and I, I know it has some value, so. Uh, our GPS, our GPS is speaking Polish, but uh, yeah, it still has some value and it's really neat and industrial and will go great in somebody's home, so uh, not a total loss, but uh, this next item is pretty cool. I think you're going to like it. Okay, so the first thing we came for is this uh, drafting desk, the vintage drafting desk, and there's some of the tools that mount on. Wow, that, that board is really cool. It's got some wear to it. And uh, yeah, that's the, there's a counterweight that goes on there. And yeah, it's a really cool industrial piece of furniture. This equipment here mounts to that bracket there. And uh, there's a foot pedal for regulation of the, uh, the angle of the, the board there. So. Yeah, I see lots of cool stuff. Okay, so about these garden lamps. Pretty cool. Pretty heavy steel. These are plastic. Uh, but I think they're replacements and these are the original poles. But who knows? Okay, so that was our uh, our last item for this trip and we're on our way home now so uh, for you guys it was probably less than 10 minutes and for us it was two full days in the car and uh, like I said we, this was kind of just a learning experience for us just to get out and go get some things and kind of learn about the distances that we'll be traveling and some you know try to see any complications that we might not have predicted uh, we got a few cool things and uh, I'm gonna make another video uh, very shortly and to show you the items that we picked up uh, in more detail because I, I didn't really show everything. So uh, yeah, tune in, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification button and uh, I'm gonna try to post pretty regularly so that you guys can follow along on our new adventure. So thanks for watching.